What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Now one of the most asked questions I have been getting over the last couple of weeks is about product research and how I find winning products for Google Ads and Facebook Ads. This will apply to TikTok Ads as well and I'm sure Pinterest and Snapchat, other ad platforms as well. And it's quite hard to describe the method I go out and use to find these really good products that do sell all year round for me on Google. But as it's Q4 just around the corner, I'm going to be doing a live product research video where I start from scratch and identify and find what people like to call a winning product. Now, you might know that with Google Ads, I use mostly uh, for my e-com businesses and I'll show you the um, current performance of those in just a second. With Google Ads, I do believe most products can work and the term winning product is sort of quite overused, if you will, with Google because if you make a product look good enough and describe it well enough in your product description, and overall just have a professional looking website, you can make it work with Google Ads, but obviously when it comes to other platforms like TikTok and Facebook, that is incredibly different. But nonetheless, today I'm gonna to be going through and finding a product, sharing the experience and process with you that I believe will be a very good product to sell on all of those platforms I've mentioned, Google, Facebook, and TikTok ads. I've not done any prep for this video. I've, I've not researched any products that I have in mind. To start with, we're gonna be doing this completely from scratch. So I'm just gonna quickly show you where my sites are currently at. You can see uh, my US site here, a fairly slow day um, compared to other days. Obviously yesterday, you can see we basically had a 6K day on that. And again, about 80%, 80 to 90% of my daily ad spend at the moment is on Google ads. And this is my UK site, very solid day on here. And you can see this month we are, you know, had a 4K day there. And um, yeah, it's been really good overall on these sites. The way we're gonna be finding the winning product on today's video is the way I find most products to sell on Google. And I'm increasing my ad spend each day on Facebook at the moment because I'm finding Facebook to be a very, very good platform to advertise on at the moment. So if you guys used Facebook a couple of years ago, definitely consider retesting some products on there, especially the ones that do well on Google. Go ahead and test them on Facebook. And finally guys, very quickly, I'd like to mention, I'll leave my uh, Twitter and Instagram in the description down below. If you've got any questions and you need any help with anything e-com related, whether that's Facebook ads, Google ads, just drop me a message. I'll do my best to get back to you all as quickly as possible. And if you are currently struggling with Google ads, I do have a Google ads agency. We can completely take over your account, manage it for you and grow your Google ads. So if you are also interested in us doing that for you, just drop me a message on those socials down below. Now you can see in front of you, the only tool I ever use for product research, and I don't use it all the time. This is not a brand deal or anything. This is a free tool. I'm not getting paid to mention them. There are tons of paid product research tools out there. I've never ever paid for a product research tool. If you know where to look and you know what free resources to use, you don't ever need to pay for a product research tool. And I'd say only one out of every five products I do end up adding to my websites. I find through this particular website here because it is quite slow to update. But this website is thieve.co. I'll quickly flash the name up on the screen now. But we're going to select dropship because obviously that's what we are doing here. It'll take you to a screen like this and I'm just going to quickly log in and then I'll show you how to use it. Obviously you can sign up completely for free. Okay, now just booting up the homepage here, I've logged in and it essentially gives you recommended winning products that they believe are winning products for dropshipping. You can view everything here on this homepage and you can even break it down by product category here. Now I'm gonna try and find a generic product that can apply to most stores rather than finding a product you know that's just pet related or something. I'm gonna try and be quite generic with the product that we um, find here today and obviously I'm gonna show you ways that I sort of verify that it potentially could do very well on Google and Facebook and even TikTok as well. So that is what we're going for, a generic product. We'll start on this website here, have a quick browse. If no success, we will hop over to AliExpress, but if you click any of these products, it will take you to the AliExpress link. So it's very, very good and easy to use. So if we just have a quick scroll down here, we'll, we'll probably start here just by pointing out a few products and then we'll narrow it down to one, maybe even two if we're lucky by the end of this video. Now immediately any lighting products do stand out to me. So I'm just gonna open this one in a new tab here. I've personally sold quite a few lighting products in the past. They're very good and they're very easy to sell in terms of just converting people to buy because you know they're eye catching. A lot of them involve new technology that people have not ever really had experiences with. So if you can you know, catch people's attention with a particular lighting product, and this one here is something I've already covered in a previous video. Now I like the look of this hot water bottle here. We have to bear in mind that we don't want a product that you can only sell for sort of 15, $20. We're gonna try and aim to find a product you can at least sell for $40, $50, because you obviously want those margins to play around with, and you hopefully want a product that you know people are gonna purchase during Q4. 
something like a gift perhaps. Now I made a product research video about two weeks ago, 10 days ago, and I used this website to find, I think two of the five products in that video. And I'm already seeing here that they're not really updated much. So we'll keep the tabs open for the uh, light bar here and the hot water bottle. But we are now just gonna head over to AliExpress just to have a browse of the homepage. And a tip I definitely recommend is go incognito on AliExpress because it will give you a wide variety of product recommendations. Whereas if you're logged into your account, they'll only give you recommendations on stuff you've previously bought or things you tend to look at the most. So if you have a pet dropshipping site, you'll probably find on your homepage that from the orders you've been doing on AliExpress and products you've been looking at, most of the recommended products will be within that category. So going incognito definitely helps sort of broaden that uh, spectrum of products that are being shown. Now instantly here, this umbrella, let me just drop, scroll down so you guys can see it. This has a very, very good product image. However, you can see, you know, 20 pounds and then another 26 to ship. That's not gonna be viable because that is very expensive. But I'm, I'm already liking what I'm seeing with a product like that in terms of the image quality. And that's something to keep an eye out for is the image quality. A lot of umbrellas are already coming up here, which is interesting. Obviously, you've got the famous TikTok shower head thing there. Probably not worth selling, very, very saturated on the social media platforms. But I'm not gonna sit here scrolling and rambling on for too long. I'm gonna cut back once I've found another two products to narrow it down to, and then I'll show you how we can sort of run some checks and verify whether or not these products will be good to sell. So I'll be back in a minute. Now just jumping quickly back in here, a very good tip to bear in mind when you're browsing AliExpress. If you see a potential product, like we've obviously found this particular one here, always look at the right hand side here for the recommended products. And if you go to the bottom of the page, there'll be a ton of recommended products as well that obviously look and have similar traits. And I mean, immediately when I landed on this page, this particular product here, this ring RGB LED light here stood out. It looks very cool. It looks a lot simpler to use than something like this. So I've added this to the short list. Uh, this potentially could be a very good product for visual ads on Facebook and TikTok and certainly can stand out with an image like that on Google Shopping as well. So we'll bear that in mind. I'm gonna find one more product, to add to the shortlist, and then we'll go ahead and verify the four of them and eventually come up sort of with a, with a winner that I believe will be the best product out of the four to sell. But I'm sure you can test all four products we end up finding in this video, but it's all about me showing you the process I go through for finding winning products. Sometimes you'll find a product that stands out to you immediately. Sometimes I've sat on AliExpress and uh, the Thieve.co website. I've just been scrolling for you know at least an hour before something pops up. So there's a bit of luck involved, a bit of fortune, but you will eventually find something if you don't give up. Okay guys, now I have found and narrowed it down to four potential products here. We've got these LED light bars that we found straight away that obviously sync up with your smart devices and on your phone as well. Just playing this video here, you can essentially see the product, you know, what it does. You can um, control it completely from your phone. A very cool, quirky thing to add to your desk setup, your home office, your gaming setup certainly can appeal to quite a wide uh, audience here. So, I mean, they're pretty cool, back of your TV, that sort of thing. Uh, next up, we've got the ring light I suggested uh, a moment ago. Again, a product that definitely stands out and I love products that have two sizes because you can compare the two on your product page and essentially convince people they need the larger size and there's only a four sort of $5 difference on AliExpress, but you could easily charge 10 to $20 extra for the larger size. If we just view the video quickly here so we get an idea, it's, an, it's a light you control with your phone. We've all seen them. It does cool patterns like that. I mean, it, is, it does look pretty cool, to be honest. A lot of customizations. I mean, if you display this in a TikTok video, very, very good. And there's a lot of different TikTok content and Facebook content you can produce with this sort of product. I mean, look how cool that is, for example. And ultimately, it is very, very cheap to buy. It has a high perceived value. I mean, it's a very unique product. Next up is another LED product. You can see the theme we've sort of landed on in this video, and that is a rounded LED wall clock. I know for a fact that these have a absolute ton of search volume on Google. Just wall clocks in general are very popular, and people do often pay a very, very high price for something like this. I mean, immediately, you can see it's a very unique product. We just go ahead and just try and find it. Again, very cool looking. Priced at $30, you're looking at probably selling this on Google for $80, $90 at least. You might think that's crazy, trust me, it's very, very doable with Google. And finally is the hot water bottle we found right at the start of the video. For the purpose of this, we're doing pricing for America. You can see $7 to buy, $8 to ship. 
just over $15 all in, which you might think is quite a lot for a simple product like this, but we will go ahead and take a look at the competition on Google just to see where the sort of average price point is for a product like this. Now, obviously we are considering Google Ads as the main factor here. So what you wanna do is head over to Google Keyword Planner. This is built into every Google Ad account. You literally click Tools at the top and click Keyword Planner. Now, I've already done the LED wall clock, but, but we will come back to that in a minute. We just go ahead and just look at hot water bottle. You can be very generic with the search term because it will give you more precise and um, extended keywords here that also give you the volume. But 27,000 searches a month in America for hot water bottle. It gives you sort of the estimated cost per click here. Now, more often than not, the competition column will be high. I never really pay attention to that because everything has high competition these days. But that is a very, very solid and high amount of monthly searches. Now, I'm from the UK, so I have to use this tool here to perform a search as if I'm from America. So if we go ahead and search hot water bottle. And what we want to focus on here is the Google Shopping ads. This is what we are obviously focusing on because this is where we would be appearing. Now, you've got these very bog standard basic ones here for like five, ten dollars. I mean, if people are on a budget, they'll just pick up something like this. But there's products here for one hundred and seventy five dollars. You've got fifty dollars. There is clearly quite a large range in pricing. Now, I always stress in my videos, and I say this to absolutely everyone, even though Google Shopping, you can clearly compare prices, you don't need to be the cheapest price on Google to stand a chance of you know being profitable. Most of the products I sell, I actually price them at the more premium end, much higher than my competition. If you've got a very good product image, which in this case, the hot water bottle one on AliExpress, the sort of clamshell design, if you've got the high quality image, people will click on your shopping ad here. And then if you've got a professional looking website, a very clear product description, again, a very good images throughout that as well, you will convert people. So please don't worry and be concerned when the first thing you see is cheap products like this, because not everyone purchases the cheapest item. And I'm speaking from experience, you know, I'm doing multiple thousand dollar days on my boat, on both of my sites combined. And like I just said, most of the products I sell, I do price a lot higher than the competition. So just going back here, this product costs about $15 with shipping. Looking at a product like this, this is simply just a cover for a hot water bottle. It's not actually the hot water bottle itself. And this is going for $50. I do think on Google, you'd probably be able to get away with selling this hot water bottle here for about two and a half, three times the cost. So three times the cost would be $45. I probably think you could sell this for $39 plus around you know three four five dollar shipping whatever your website has i personally charge 499 dollars shipping on my american site and then 399 pounds on my uk site so if i listed this for 39 on my us customer would also pay 499 shipping and that gives me a total order value of 43.99 and i do think that is possible with this now and i am obviously speaking from experience when i'm sort of talking about these numbers so that one is definitely something to bear in mind if we go and look at this uh, led wall clock again just hop over to keyword planner we have got led wall clock now you can see the monthly search volume here is quite low obviously we've sort of niched it down to led wall clock but if you just do wall clock here you can obviously see the search volume is a lot higher at 74,000. Now searching LED wall clock on Google, I mean, you can sort of get the idea of the ones that typically pop up here. These are more like scoreboard sports timers. You've got ones like this for $45 here. Obviously these ones are ridiculously expensive, but they're not really home wall clocks. They're ones you use, like I said, in a sports arena or something like that. You know, you've got one on Wayfair here for $180. And um, you know, again, they all look very, very similar. There's one like this for $50 on Amazon, which is kind of similar to the one that we found on AliExpress. But I mean, apart from this round one here, they all look the same with that digital display. So immediately, if you're appearing with an image like this amongst all those those products that are similar you will immediately stand out eyes will be on this picture on Google people will click out of curiosity and it is a product that people are willing to spend money on I mean this cost $30 on AliExpress to ship to the USA like I said previously $80 $90 I think you could easily sell this for and there's no harm in starting off selling it for a bit cheaper $60 $70 get that conversion data in and then gradually over time increase it to 80 90 dollars and this is a method that i've obviously touched on a million times in my videos start low get the conversion data then increase the product price you probably won't see a dip in conversion rate now moving back to this product here i'm actually not going to go any further with it just because it looks quite complicated and probably will need a very very in-depth product description about all the features but after second thoughts it's actually quite expensive i mean if we refresh the page here so it converts to the uh, US price. I mean, you're paying, you know, $30 for something like this. I know the wall clock was $30, but 
that's easier to display the features. It's a product that stands out a lot more to me anyway. I mean, you're welcome to try a product like this. It's a difficult product to title and describe in my opinion. So I would personally stay away from that. The only platform I'd consider selling something this on would be TikTok. Again, similar with this product here. There's a lot of visual sort of trendy content you can produce with a product like this. But this one is a lot simpler than that previous product. So this would be the third product I recommend in this video. And, it's, and with Google, you can angle your products in so many different ways. You could um, you can market this as a desk lamp, a gaming lamp, a bedside table lamp, a color changing lamp. There's so many angles you could direct this product into and capture a much wider audience rather than being very specific and saying it's an RGB, you know, atmosphere light with Bluetooth. Um, app control if you're very broad with it on google you're going to increase your reach and increase the amount of eyeballs that are seeing this on google and i've touched on this in a previous video so we just go over to keyword planner here and look at desktop lamp if we do gaming lamp if we do rgb lamp beds are we'll do night stand lamp and then we'll do color changing lamp. We'll see what these search terms pull up and then we'll go and quickly check them on Google. You can see a desktop lamp, again, 75,000 a month, very similar to the wall clock. We just hit desktop lamp here. I mean, again, similar with the clock. Most of them look the same. They've got the arm and that sort of thing. You know, dated, very boring products. And you can even see the price of these, you know, $150. I mean, the fact that these are ranking highly and they're clearly selling means people are willing to pay a high price for a product like this. Now, this particular one here probably would appeal to a much younger audience just because of the nature of the product. But again, if you're appearing on Google with an image like this, for example, if you're, if you're on that Google shopping page or that top listing right there against all those other boring images, and if you're standing out of a picture like this, again, just like the other products I've mentioned, people are going to gravitate towards that. They're going to click it out of curiosity. And again, I can't stress enough, if you have a professional looking site, describe the product well, build trust within the product page and your site in general. Things like this will convert so, so well with Google. And for obvious reasons, it should do well on Facebook and TikTok because it's the sort of product you can create a lot of good video content on as well. So if you're wanting a price recommendation on this particular product, as I've given price recommendations on the other three, you've got the small size here for $18 or so and the large size for just under 24. I think you could easily sell something like this size here for about $49. And then you could probably get away with charging an extra $10, $20. I personally would price this at an extra $20 because it looks significantly bigger. It is significantly bigger. It's 10 centimeters bigger. I would personally go in, charge $49 for this particular variant and then a $69 for the larger size. And if you compare the sizes and the differences between the variants in your product description and, and subtly hint that, you know, you do need the bigger size and sort of explain the benefits of having the bigger size people will gravitate towards that and you'll be surprised with the amount of people that will order the larger size here and a good thing as well with a product that has two sizes at, do at two different price points the price that's going to appear on google shopping will be the cheaper price variant i know i said having the cheapest price doesn't matter on google but being able to display the cheapest price out of the two variants definitely helps and we'll probably earn you a few more clicks here and there. Overall, it's very hard to pick a winner out of these three. I'm definitely glad I've done this video because I thought I was going to struggle to find one product. But, but we have found three potential winning products here for Q4 that you can test on TikTok, Facebook and Google Ads. Now, my US store is more so a general store than a niche store. And if I were to add one of these three products onto my store for Q4, it probably would be this wall clock here. I like to focus on higher ticket items for Google that give you that bigger margin to play around with. And this one definitely here with the potential of selling it, you know, upwards of $100 definitely stands out for me. But these other two are obviously great candidates as well. So definitely, guys, if you've got the time, if you've got the budget, test these products here. I hope you have found this video useful and essentially found the steps I take to find products interesting and maybe you guys will take on board some of these things as well. It's essentially just scrolling through AliExpress, using thieve.co if you're having no luck with AliExpress, using the Google Keyword Planner to verify the demand for a particular product by seeing the monthly search volume and then identifying the competition's price on Google Shopping as well to see where you would fit into that market. And again, can't stress enough, don't worry, you don't need to be the cheapest price on Google to do well. So guys, that is it from me today. Like I said at the start, I have my own Google Ads agency where we take people's e-commerce websites, grow them with Google Ads. So if you are currently running Google Ads and not seeing the best results and you want to improve them, get in touch with me on Twitter or Instagram and we will go ahead and get that sorted for you. But guys, I'll see you in my next video.